Dear friends, welcome to the 14th straw in the 25 straws for his manger. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke chapter 15 verses 8 onwards. What woman having 10 silver coins, if she loses one of them, does not light a lamp, sweep the house and search carefully until she finds it? When she has found it, she calls together her friends and neighbors, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the coin that I, have, that I had lost. Dear friends, today uh, we, we pray over the 14th straw for his manger. Something that we always do in many homes, I'm presuming in most homes, in preparation for Christmas, along with putting up all the props of the Christmas tree and the nativity scene and the, and the decorations is doing a Christmas cleanup. In the seminary we used to have, uh, every Christmas we used to have a Christmas cleanup and there used to be a general cleaning, all the brothers would be involved and uh, we'd clean the whole place up. At home as well, I remember uh, the Christmas cleaning that took place and the little cleaning that my mother would ask me to do as well. Everything needs to be prime and proper. We have guests coming at home as well. One area that I liked cleaning obviously was uh, we had a sofa or in certain places as you would call it as a couch. It was uh, pretty old. One side, the handle side of the, the couch actually was broken on one side. And so there was a gap between the cushion and the handle. And um, whatever fell inside that gap, it was difficult to take out because it actually just went in. It was covered on all sides and we didn't have access. You needed small hands to actually put those, uh, those hands inside, the palm inside, dig deep and then take things out. And so when the cleaning came and... I had to clean the couch and even if no one told me, I would go to see that I cleaned the couch and I'd put my little hands inside and I'd see what all has been dropped over there over the year. So there could be sometimes people, uh, coins fall off from their pocket into that little space. But also I know sometimes my little toys that I lost, my little matchbox cars that I loved would be there inside it as well. So I dig deep inside and search for them and I take them out. And the excitement in finding those things. You know, there's, there's a strange excitement you have when you find things when you're doing a cleanup. Find things that you had lost. Find things that maybe you forgot about before. And now suddenly looking at it, it excites us. I do that even when I go home nowadays. I'll do a little clean up of my, my drawers and I'll search for things that I'd forgotten about and I find it. And the excitement, I stare at it for some time. I think about all the beautiful memories that are connected to it and I realize it's still my treasure and I keep it safe. I don't chuck it out. Well, during our Christmas clean up that we are doing in our homes, and we find things, maybe this is also a beautiful time for us to look into our own hearts to see what are the things we've lost, maybe in the last one year or so, maybe beautiful virtues we had and different circumstances and different situations led to us losing those virtues, losing that bit of extra bit of holiness or that extra bit of goodness that we had. And something's changed over a period of time, maybe because of different situations we faced. So when we do our Christmas cleanup today of our homes, maybe also doing a little cleanup of our hearts. And that's what we do during confession. We cleanse our hearts, but we'll find certain things once we start that cleansing process. Certain things were beautiful in us that were wonderful and we were very happy with it. The Lord was very happy with it. Maybe it's a beautiful time to refine them and to treasure them 
because they are good things. They are wonderful things. The the amazing compassion we had, the kindness we had, the way we spoke, the the prayer life we had, um, the charitable thoughts that we had, the charitable actions we had. All of them are beautiful things that were part of our life. Maybe, maybe today it's not there for different reasons. Maybe not your fault. Maybe、uh, a situation around us. Maybe someone else forced us into it. Whichever, but it was a treasure that is lost. And in the clean up, let the treasure be found again. It would be wonderful as a beautiful straw for the Lord that what we gave up on, what we lost at one point, Lord, we are reclaiming it. And here we place it at us as a straw on your manger, as the gospel passage we read. The lady who lost that one coin, she searched, she found it, and the joy. Let that be our joy this Christmas. I find certain things I lost before. I find it, and I present it to the Lord and tell the Lord, I would like to continue with that holiness, with that love, with that compassion, with that kindness, to grow in that virtue. God, our heavenly Father, as we journey through this season of Advent. When we cleanse ourselves of our pride, our arrogance, all our sins and our weaknesses in confession, and all that gets cleared, somewhere, Lord, we will find within our hearts those beautiful virtues we once had that has been lost. Give us the grace to find it and to rejoice at that moment, because that will be a wonderful gift for the beloved Son. Lord Jesus, I pray for every person. Who goes through a cleansing process during this Advent? Let them find when they clean some beautiful virtues of theirs, and let that become the pillar of their faith. Let it grow, and let it bear fruit in abundance. That these your children will find great joy in reclaiming that wonderful gift that was once their own. In the name of the Father and of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit, Amen. I speak from、uh, our retreat center.、Uh, for those of you who haven't been to the Colombo Retreat Center,、uh, that's our retreat center in the background,、uh, the lush green uh, uh, place that we have, all still under construction. We have the、uh, main hall to be constructed, the residential blocks that come right behind、uh, the mission house. Uh, we have the Mother Mary's Grotto that is coming up uh, uh, at at one of those small little hills as well. This was all just a big overgrowth of place, and、um, it, you couldn't even enter into these places. And it has all been been cleared up and and done wonderfully well for retreats to be held. So please do pray for. The construction that happens as well, and for us to be able to set up things so we can start our residential retreats very soon. God bless you. Have a blessed. Not as a king in shining armor. Not as an answer to more wealth. Not in display of mighty power, you came, you came. Not in humanity's way of thinking, not in a way we would expect. Not with ten thousand able soldiers, you came. You.、Can.
Give us the fun.